Right then, hello and welcome back to Talker Race Driver 3, about to kick off tier 21. Uh, the voting was incredibly close for this one, in fact we had a tie for a while between the British GT and the Ultima Can-Am Tour. They were both tied on 23%, but we did get one more vote out of uh, these two, and the winner out of that was the Ultima Can-Am Tour. So the British GT has 22% of the vote, the Ultima Can-Am Tour has 24% of the vote, but the clear winner was the V8 Supercars with a massive 55% of the vote. So that is the championship we'll be doing last. But first we're going to be doing the British GT again. We've done the British GT so many times now. Uh, finished third or above in the championship. We have one of these vehicles. I'm going to assume it's probably the uh, Vauxhall Monaro uh, for this one. We have five laps around Donington National. We have five laps around Mondello. Ugh. Great. And five laps around Snetterton, so not a long championship. It's a rolling start, 13 cars are going to be on the grid, black, black and white flags, points go down to 8th place as always, and we're not going to qualify. And oh, we're in the Corvette C5R, so that's cool. Embassy Racing, uh, 1300, or sorry, 1139 kilograms, 600 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds. <laughs> losing my touch. Handsome, hunky looking machine. You can understand why the Corvette has become America's favourite sports car. Frequent victories on the world's and June circuits. Give that a go. It's a lot of fun. I'm surprised he didn't break a hip, the silly old man. Anyway, Donington National then for race one. This is it. The start of the championship. It's all down to you. Yep, like the start of every championship, there's always a start. Um, now, this is the second attempt at this uh, race. There was a bit of a disaster with the first attempt. You will see that at the end. Um, but, yeah, it wasn't pretty, to say the least. However, um, I have got the Pro Sim handling turned back on for this championship because the GT cars don't handle too bad. In fact, they are very controllable. The only problem is, is that... We probably won't win this championship outright because of the leader. He's got that issue similar to the Morgan, where he would take the corners flat out without braking. And uh, yeah, I think it's the Mosler that is up ahead at the moment. Uh, you can see the lead that he's got already. He probably will keep that lead. Slow it down. And we've got this doofus behind as well. Alright, lap two. Well, there's Captain Obvious for you. We haven't heard that saying in a very long time. Well, if you pass the car up ahead, you'll be first. But there he goes. Bloody hell, see how fast they can take those corners. I was in the points already, but unfortunately, I cannot take the corners as fast as the uh, cheating AI can. But, oh well. All I'm hoping for is that race 2 at Mondello is going to be dry. Because we all seen what happened during the 1970s GT is, uh, yeah, it didn't go according to plan. But third place, you know, if we can keep consistent third place finishes for this championship, at least we'll pass the criteria. So that's the main thing. Oh, and he's decided to go off. Okay, well done. If only the leader will do that, and then we'll be home free, but it's not going to happen. Yeah, he's caught up already. From a standing start. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Get around. Uh, what did we get for the lap time? 56.62, was it? Yep, he's right on our chuff again. Sorry, mate, you're not getting past. Try and defend the inside line so you have to go the long way around. And usually they make mistakes. Not this time, though, it seems. It was a 56.92 that we had on the previous lap, so. Right, final lap anyway. Second place would be ideal. Yeah, the swine. Well, luckily that pushed him back, so we should be able to secure second place. Unless he dive bombs it the last corner, which he hasn't, so. There we go. Second place for race number one. I will take it. Second place for you. Good drive. Yeah, good drive indeed. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. We were 10 seconds back from short, though, which was uh, a bit of a shame. But anyway, eight points for us. Brady was second, 11 seconds back. Then we had Johnson, uh, Griffin, and Cole, the top six. Uh, so we're second in points at the moment for Embassy Racing. And uh, this is the outcome of attempt number one. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't end too well. That engine can't take much more. It's gonna blow. Yeah, it wasn't that great, unfortunately. But oh well, these things happen. Mondello International, and it's sunny. Okay, the Mosler is gonna be on pole position. There he is. So I'm gonna try and take him out at the start. Clip his rear. Cause a bit of a pileup. And stay in second place, which is good. Minimal damage to the engine, suspension, and gearbox, which is even better. Drive up the inside of the Ultima. The tires are running at a perfect temperature. Keep it up. Shut up. Right, and uh, we're going to lose the lead immediately. Ultima's gone wide. Me and my Corvette brethren. Oh my god, the brakes. The brakes honestly didn't do a damn thing then. Excuse me, pardon me coming through. Thank you. Now, I don't mind that the Corvette is leading because the Mosler isn't. And he's our biggest pain in the arse on this championship, so. Yes, I know, Scotty. Shut up. So, by, you know, process of elimination, we should be leading the championship if we finish second. Oh my god, why ain't the car turning? Bloody turn! Jesus Christ, I had it on full lock and the car was like, no, I'm just going to go straight. Recalcitrant piece of crap. Keep your nerve and the podium finishes yours. Shut up.
God, I've got to slow down so much for these corners. The AI don't. They basically treat the tracks like the Morgan did during the first British GT Championship that we entered. Everyone remembers how broken the Morgan was. The rest of the AI pretty much act the same. They're going wide and having their own little battle, so I can pull away a little bit. The other Corvette is 10 billion years up the road, so I don't have to worry about him. So I don't think he came in uh, top five, or he was probably fifth, or whatever, during race number one, so... By rights, we should be leading the championship if we finish in second place. I can hear them behind as well, still smashing into each other, so again, that's going to slow them down. Your tires are wearing, but they should hold for now. Shut up. Right, two laps to go. I think we're gaining ever so slowly on the Corvette in the lead. We're not going to catch him by any stretch, but we are gaining a little bit. I think a couple of tenths here and there. Okay, final lap. Last lap, let's get some more points. Oh, he's gone wide. He went off. Nice, that's given us a lot of breathing room. I just heard the gravel in the background, so... Now, why couldn't the leader do that? Is rather unfortunate. The car behind's over five seconds away. Yeah, I don't care about the car behind, I'm more worried about the car in front. Oh well, second place, so we should be in the lead of the championship by a, a small handful of points. Which isn't too bad, I will take that. And there we go. You can win or lose from here. Right now, it's in the balance, so it's up to you. Yep, yeah, well, we'll see what that does to the points anyway. So, uh, Cole wins then, and then you got Hartshorn in third place. Johnson and uh, Tomlinson, Brady, Short and Griffin. And, uh, yeah, I'm leading now by three points, um, so that's not a lot, but we'll see anyway. Snetterton then for the last race of the British GT Championship. Okie dokie. 
for the last time then. Off we go. That's right, you're gonna block your line. I'm gonna take you on the inside anyway, so bugger off. Right, they've pushed back a little bit. Hopefully the Ultima can hold up the Mosler. That'll be the best outcome for this championship. Well, especially if the Mosler does that. Unfortunately, I gave him a push and that helped him along. Oh well, four laps to go. They're still quite far back, so uh, hopefully this might be enough. We finish in third, be enough to, to uh, secure the championship, but we'll see. Oops. Surprised I didn't get a warning for that. But at least the Mosler is also making mistakes on the last chicane. It's just everywhere else, he's nigh on uncatchable. Right, coming up to two laps to go. But you can see, when the AI get to a certain distance in front, they sort of like blast around the corners without braking, and it's, you know, really quite annoying. Yeah, so we've secured third place at least in the race. I don't know what it's going to do to the championship. But regardless, we're going to beat the uh, the top three criteria that we need. So that's the main thing. Oh. Okay, that was uh, rather uh, surprising to see that happen. Did they take each other out? I thought I was only up to second then. I thought the Mosler had blasted away with the lead. Okay, so what happened to the Mosler? The tires are starting to wear a little. Be careful in the corners. Well, there you go. That is a turn up for the books, one I didn't expect. And we win the championship. Good enough. Well done. Wow, okay. That... I didn't expect at all.
And there we go then, an unexpected turn up for the book. So we win then over Brady and Martin Short finishes third in the end, nine seconds back. And we win the championship then, not by much though, only by eight points, which is more than enough. So uh, yeah, we beat the criteria. Well done, you achieve your goal in the British GT NGT championship. Nice performance. And now we can uh, use the car in free race time trial and multiplayer modes. Hooray! Right, that unlocks tier number 22. So as always, there's going to be a poll uh, in the community tab on what championship to do first, second, and third. So we have the US Speed Truck Challenge or the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series once again, the 4x4 Rallycross Championship, and the Palmer Jaguar JP1 Championship. So uh, yeah, I'll put a poll up on what gets the least amount of votes I'll do first, what gets the most I'll do last. So simple as that. But for tier 21, we're going to be moving on to the Ultima Can-Am Tour next time. And uh, I will see you for that. So thank you very much for watching as always. And I will see you all next time. Bye for now.